Well, first it was COVID. Now it's a Caldor fire impacting local rafting businesses. Here's CBS 13's Rachel Wolf. The water's normally up by our feet. Well, yeah, usually right about where we're standing. A little Nate Rangel back, says yeah. during the second driest year on record, agreements between utility companies and the federal government keep water flowing in the middle and south fork of the American River. And they guarantee a certain amount of flow. And also keep water in the river and keep the fish alive and keep the flora and the fauna all healthy. But it's the Caldor fire that left the owner of Raft California high and dry right before Labor Day. And there were days when we were looking at AQI indexes that were, you know, three, four, five hundred. And that's just not really fun or healthy. Rangel says business dipped 25%. And what's happened to whitewater rafting companies is trickling down to area businesses. This sign on the door says it all. It's a struggle to try and keep enough staff to keep the guests happy and not overstaff because we're losing money. Whitewater Pizza Company general manager Paige Holden says three bands canceled three weeks in a row because of poor air quality. We lost our last month's worth of solid business to get us through the winter season. And neighboring Take a Bite Deli lost five to six hundred dollars a day due to Caldor closures and cancellations. It, we are usually packed and usually cars out all over the street and we have people like out the door from the gas station and now there's like nobody. It was an interesting year. Rangel says the Caldor fire coupled with COVID and the new Delta variant caused a chaotic year. I think it's the new norm. That's forcing many outdoor recreation companies to find new ways to stay afloat. I've been doing this for 40 years and the challenges that we have now on a daily basis, we're up to them, but it, it does make the job and you know, the service we offer, you have to be a little more creative about how you do it. 